Neolithic Japan lasted around 12,000 years and is better known as the Jomon period between 14,000 and 300 BC. Unlike civilizations such as Mesopotamia, Egypt, and other places around the Fertile Crescent, Japan was not one of the origins of agriculture. In Why Didn't Agriculture Develop in Japan, it is claimed that Japan had more of a hunter and gatherer lifestyle. Instead of finding ways to grow cattle, they excelled in ceramics by reinforcing the clay and cord making with the utilization of vegetable fibers woven into their creations. They had minimum tools, all which were primarily made of a mixture of clay, wood, stone, or plant. It wasn't until the beginning of the Yayoi period that the settlers began to learn about the usage of metals like bronze and iron along with the growing of their own rice from people who migrated from Korea. They learned quickly and took advantage of their newly acquired skills to ramp up the production of tools they would need for agricultural use. By the Kofun period, the Japanese had developed systems to improve their productivity. They created rice strains to allow growing rice in cooler climates, along with an irrigation system which decreased failure with growing rice on dry, unfertile soil. This finally led to the creation of rice paddies, which made it possible to grow rice on almost any terrain. With all these advancements, more and more migrants began to come onto Japan's shores. Finally, during the Asuka period, the Chinese began to bring in their own influences into the Japanese culture by introducing them to the Buddhist religion, writing, and methods of currency and standard measurements, and even government. With all the technological advancements made throughout these periods, Japan was able to finally enter the classic era, also known as the Nara period.